Hi, my people. My name is Lucy Gila and welcome to Lucy's Jikoni. So today in my Jikoni, we are going to cook cuckoo chicken. Yes, today we are going to cook chicken, but we are not going to do cuckoo kienyeji. We are going to do broiler. Yes. So uh, today I decided I uh, should show you my way of cooking broiler. Because I've learned that a lot of people don't really like this cuckoo because of how it comes out after it has been cooked. So today I decided I want to show you my own way that I make my cuckoo and I make it to taste better, better and yummy. Yeah, so I want to show you how I do it my way. So please welcome and stay tuned. Yes, stay tuned and if you are new, Nasema Karibu Sana, welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you for uh, joining this wonderful family. And if you are there and you haven't subscribed, please, I beg you to please consider subscribing so that we can continue learning together and enjoying together in this channel. And to my returnees, Nasema, thank you so much for your love. Thank you so much for showing me your endless love. I do not take it for granted. Nasema, asanteni sana, asanteni sana. And hey, if you watch this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. That way we are going to grow and grow and grow. So please support your girl here by just pressing that like button. And we are going to go far. By doing that, we are going to tell a lot of people that there is this channel that is just, yeah, a wow channel, yeah? So please, let's do this together and let's cook our cuckoo, um, no, I call it broiler, yeah, our cuckoo broiler. Yes, in cuckoo ya kizungu, in cuckoo ya kizungu here. Yeah, nataka tuipike so that most of people don't say, oh, your cuckoo, when you cook, it's always slimy, it's really yucky, it's how, no. It's because the way it is cooked. It has very, very many ways um, of cooking it. But I want to show you how I cook mine. And I know when you try, if you go try it out, you will love it. Yes, that one I assure you. So let's dive into our ingredients first. The main ingredient is our cuckoo here. Yes, so we have our cuckoo. This one is like one... 1.4 kgs. Yeah, I already washed it. It's already sliced. Yes, just ready to be cooked. So here is our main ingredient. Yes. And next, um, we go to our, we need our tomatoes. Yes. Aha. Uh -huh. Now, here we have our tomatoes. This is um, uh, Daniels. Uh, here we have our onions and then we go to our hoho and then here is our garlic yes so um as you can see i've chopped my um my onions round round yeah it's in ring ring form yeah i want it that way and um you will see why i prefer this way when it comes to the chicken this chicken how the, the way I'm going to cook it, that's why nimesema ikacho namna hii. So, yes, these are the ingredients. The, um, uh, these are called leafy ingredients. Yes, easy. Nizile, natural ones. Now, we want to go to our, our spices now. Our spices. We have, um, I'll use cumin here. I'm going to use garlic. Don't worry, I'm going to put all of this there on the description box so that uh, you go check it out in case you want to use them. So I'm just naming them faster, faster, but I'm going to put them down in the description box. So if you go, you will find them there. So we have our garam masala, paprika is always my bed all the time. And then we have our curry powder, uh, simbambil, and then royco. This uh, chicken, one thing with it, you cannot cook it without these spices. 
unless you are deep frying it if you want it if you want to eat it dry yeah you can do it without spices but if you want to do anything to do with wet fry okay or just stew with soup uh, that one you'll have to use spices that's one thing that i'll tell you about this cook you cannot cook it just like that you have to to put the, the the spices you have to include the spices so those are the spices that i am going to use i'm going to use all of those spices but i always put just little little bit of them yeah kidogo kidogo so that it can bring that enhancement in the test so yes let's dive into our um, uh, our jikoni we start cooking let's start cooking yeah let's start cooking first thing first i'm going to like parboil it together with the spices naenda kuipika na kidogo tuna maji this the, the, i'm not going to add water the water that has been used to wash it i know it's still draining so there is little water remaining there that's what i'm going to use with cooking the spices with i have to put in spices while i'm parboiling it so that the spices can just you see they can uh, mix well and incorporate well so that's what i'm going to do right now so let's come to let's dive into our kitchen and start cooking I'm sorry I forgot to tell you about the salt. We also need salt and we need cooking oil. Yeah. Uh salt cooking oil. But as I said, I'll put everything in the description box so that you don't get mixed up when it comes to ingredients. So yeah, just continue staying tuned. So here I'm again adding my salt. Right now I'm not going to use cooking oil. No, I'm just going to let the, 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 the spices cook first and then you'll see where the cooking oil will be included. So, to the left to cook, we'll stay tuned. So guys, I'm going to add here a little water because I've just learned so after we washed it, it really drained. The water drained off water and I have to add water so that it can cook before we continue with the next process and also um, because I'm going to make it like wet fry I'll need a uh, soup so I'll use the broth that will remain from here to make that soup so yes I'm going to add water just a little water so that you don't you make sure you don't overcook it it cooks so fast it cooks so fast Okay. So guys, our cuckoo is ready. Yeah, I've boiled it for like uh, five minutes. Boiled it for like five minutes. Now I want to put it aside so that you can go to our next stage. Yes, yeah, so stay tuned. Watch out to drain Kwanza. First things first. You off your gas, yes, and then
yeah so guys our next stage is um uh shallow frying our chicken if you want to pan uh, to deep fry it well and good but me personally i shallow fry it and then go to the next stage it has two it has three stages so stay tuned this one is our second one yes so let us shallow fry this is where now we need the cooking oil yeah this is where this one comes in so let's do this just a little oil that should be enough we don't need a lot of it because um this chicken is also fatty so we wouldn't want to use a lot of oil when cooking it Don't make it too dry because now it will not bring out that taste. You just make it to this golden brown here yeah? after it has browned well. Yeah, but don't make it too, too dry too. It will be hard, it will be tough when it comes to eating. Now our round two, we are done with our round two. So we want to go to our final, final, final stage. Yeah, where now we are going to use our leafy ingredients. Yes, so let's start with our round two. We are going to add a little oil in the pan, just a little oil. Namna hiyo, kidogo, yes. So a little oil in the pan and then start adding our ingredients one by one. We start with, with, with our onions as usual and then garlic. That's how I, I, uh, I do it. Yes, I start with onions and then garlic and then uh, tomatoes. Ho ho with dania will be the last ones I love the onion so that's why you can see I've used a lot a lot of onion because I love onion and then I need to go sana 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 I'm better off doing without uh, tomatoes but I can't do it without onion I like my onions this way, so I'm not going to let them brown. When it comes to some kind of food, there are some that I leave them to be golden brown, but there are some food I don't like letting it cook, cook, cook until golden brown. I like, I like it when it's still crunchy. Yeah, so as long as it has turned its color, I'm good to go. So right now I'm going to add what? I'm going to add garlic. Yes. So I have added my garlic already. And let it cook. Okay, I have added my onion. Ah, no, my tomatoes. 
I'm going to let them cook. Yeah, before I add in my chicken now. My tomatoes are ready. Yeah. So uh, I want to put in uh, the cuckoo now, the chicken. we haven't added any spices remember we boil the chicken with the spices so there's no need but it's also up to your preference that's what, what I always say if you want to add more spices it's up to you yes but now here I've just done my onions and tomatoes and now I haven't added um, I haven't added in um, uh, ho ho with garlic yet? No. Uh, ah, ho ho with dania. I haven't added ho ho with dania yet. So what I'm going to do? I'm going to use the broth. Yeah, that we drained from here. This is what I'm going to use to add in here. This procedure, the third one takes. The third procedure takes very, very short time because it's just a matter of just making it um, cook together with that onions and the stew, any the leafy ingredients. So we're not going to take a lot of time on this. It's just to make the soup, yeah, and make our chicken look good. And then after this, I'm going to add my on. I'm going to add my ho ho. Then. Uh, Dania will be the last one. Yes. Okay. I'm adding my hopper. I let them look in that way, that green. I don't really like cooking them that much, so this is the point I add the dania, add the garlic, uh, oh, oh sorry, what? The confusion is real. Voila, our cook is ready. Then you off what? You off the gas. So guys, our cuckoo is ready. Here is our cuckoo broiler. Yeah, this is how it looks. And I know it tastes so, so, so yummy. So please go try this out. And I assure you, you will not regret it. Follow it step by step and you'll get it right. Don't be afraid to eat this chicken because of the way it's cooked cook it the right way and you're going to enjoy it thank you so much for staying tuned thank you so much for coming back to watch see you in my next video bye bye